is having her birthday party in Koreatown, and uh, she's having, she's ha Laura's having her birthday party at a karaoke bar in Koreatown, which is the way to go. I'm thinking, and um, my goal is tonight is tonight to sing some karaoke, and I don't care if I have to wrestle Korean karaoke masters to the ground to get the microphone from them. I will sing karaoke tonight. It's my solemn vow to you, camera. The cornerstone of Koreatown is, of course, the, uh, the Starbucks, and Koreatown is also not without its skateboarding punks. What did Laura do now, Robert? Well, we're walking around the building trying to find this place. Mm -hmm. It should have all been detailed in the in the e vibe that we had to walk around the building, come in, talk to the security guard. <laughs> you know, I felt I should have brought a compass or something. And what did he just tell us? Downstairs and make a left at the parking in the parking. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even it hear what he too... said. I thought you got it. So I... No, I, he, we have to come. Oh, look. And then he said, "It's a subterranean uh, right. food court, Robert." Oh, here we go. Room nine. Room nine? Yeah, room nine. Thank you very much. How did he know by looking at us that we were room nine? We're not Korean. That's why. We are not. We definitely aren't Korean. Is this us? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, I'm frightened. Oh my God. Are you ready to go? I'll give you a minute. Laura, I can't video vlog in this light. I know. And that is Chip Pope of MTV's Austin Stories that came home like eight years ago. <laughs>
Uncaging the fragile bird of song, <laughs> letting it flutter about the room. It was wonderful. Uncaging. That was very good. Walk on through the wind. Walk on.